Hello everyone! Welcome to our English class. For today, we will be talking about a poem entitled Mother to Son by Langston Hung. So, but before we dive into that, I think that it's important for us to learn about the background information of the poem that we are going to tackle. Let us start with the author. So the author of this poem is Lang Sun Hang, a well-known African-American writer during the Harlem Renaissance. And his poems usually speak about the struggle of the black people or the black families in America. So this particular poem entitled Mother to Son talks about the financial struggles and discrimination experienced by the black people in the early 1900s. Now what is Harlem Renaissance? So Harlem Renaissance pertains to the era or the time of blossom where the blossoming of American and American culture existed. So it embraces literary, musical and theatrical work and as all as well as visual arts and it also sought to reconceptualize the Negro um, stereotypes and it cultivates pride in black life and identity and also promotes rising consciousness of inequality and discrimination. So for now, let us watch and listen to a narrated version of the poem entitled Mother to Son by Langston Hans. Well, son, I'll tell you. Life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters. and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare but all the time I's been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light So boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps because you find it's kind of hard. Don't you fall now. Fires are still going, honey. Eyes are still climbing. And life for me ain't been no crystal stair. So now that we are done watching and listening to the narrated version of the poem Mother to Son by Lang Sun Hans, let us try to examine it through the sociological perspective. So meaning to say we are not looking at the text itself but we're like looking into the context the history the happenings um to which the poem was written so with that we can say that the poem mother to son expresses political social cultural and historical contents it also examines economic class race sex and instances of oppression and or liberation as evidenced by the mother being an African and the struggles she um, experienced, had experienced due to oppression or uh, racial discrimination. Now, the poem is a symbol of the struggle of the Negro race. It also reflects inequalities and social injustices experienced by the black people and it also exemplifies racial tension and hostility as well as oppression and discrimination. Another concept that was introduced in the poem is the racial discrimination experienced by the black people. Racial discrimination from the word itself, race, race and segregation, meaning to say there are certain groups who are not included or they are not allowed to access certain institutions or establishments because they are segregated. I mean to say they are they are not allowed to to blend to blend in with the other groups of people. And this is because um, the black people are not given the 
chance or may to say they are deprived from, from their rights to experience um, the things that they deserve such as, such as quality education, such as um, to access facilities because there is a different treatment. And African American men began to lose the right to vote. However, African Americans and their white allies did not simply sit back and accept Northern racism. They responded to it in a whole range of ways. So, all of this, all of the things that I have mentioned are not visible in the poem because these are not explicitly stated but implicitly, meaning to say these are um, hidden through the figurative language used in the poem. Again, we are not using the formalism criticism which focuses on the structure or like the physical aspect of the poem, but we are looking into the sociological aspects, the history, the contexts, the events happening behind the poem or which influences or inspire the poem. So, as what I have mentioned a while ago, the poem is actually a reflection of what's happening, of what the black people experience. There's such, a, just like the mother who did not stop from climbing the wall despite the hindrances, despite the discriminations she had gone through. As mentioned, we had the um, splinters, um, no crystal stair, board stone up, and what else? These are all painful words. These are all um, words which signify hardships and um, discrimination. Just like the mother, the African Americans did not just sit down. They tried to fight back by promoting acceptance and awareness of diversity and they responded to it in a whole range of different ways. Just like the mother, she didn't stop from climbing the wall. Instead, she, um, she is still determined to climb the wall despite the hardships she had she'd gone through so i think that's it for our discussion thank you for watching and see you in my next lecture one two three funky